Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, just had a interesting meeting with Keenan Wainwright's dad, Dennis McWhale, Josh Whale, all positive stuff, things are going really good. Come on! Clean hell, man. In your lane, woman. Uh, yeah, it's all positive stuff. Uh, gonna head on to my doctor's appointment now. It's all good, isn't it? We've got Meadow all the way. Instead of going down by Parkway at this time, we've got a lot. 50 minutes to get from here to doctors. Kit this here, I'm not gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this. I get that motor, I get my foot down. So this is a problem, isn't it, when you get near Meadow Wall, you get traffic, don't you? Good, I'm going the other way. Uh, but, I'm glad Josh Whale and his dad are happy. You can't beat happy fighters. Fighters that are happy perform better. Whether they're journeymen or whether they're, you know, European level fighters, world level fighters, uh, British level, tight championship fighters. A happy fighter is a good fighter and you get your best out of an happy fighter. If you're a fighter, I've learned, and I'm not an expert at this and I'm learning all the time, but I think it's something that Terry said to me the other day at the after party. If you're a happy fighter, you get more out of him. He's going to work with a smile on his face, isn't he? Whereas if you're unhappy and you've got distractions, how do you concentrate? See, a lot of fighters can't concentrate on a fight if they've not got a date, then they can't train for it because they need. Some of them just need that date. Some need to know that they're getting paid properly, or if they're going to get paid at all. I mean, it's an horrible business for people getting paid on time. I mean, even the straight people, the good payers, sometimes there can be a clerical error, or you're waiting and it takes a few more extra days, and these things happen, don't they? But I just think that an happy fighter. He's a good fighter. Come on then. You know how I always end up stuck behind somebody, right? Who's crawling. There you go. Dealt with you, mate. Oh, they all want to speed up now, don't they? Oh, look, they want to speed up now. Amazing. They all want to go fast now, I've overtook them. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing how they want to go fast now, look. <laughs> right, amazing, isn't it? They all want to go quick now, don't they? Let me get down here and get chopped through this traffic. I've got some driving to do with me yet. Yeah. Get to my doctor's appointment. If I miss this appointment, I'm going to be fuming. I hope I've come right way here. Once I get on that motorway, it's I'll be, be alright. But yeah, so I'm glad Josh uh, and Mick are happy. September 20th, uh, Josh is out again uh, in Sheffield. Uh, so that's all good stuff, isn't it? Ten weeks to go and he's out again. Very active. Uh, Growing into weight, growing into the weight, good. I know what I am now. So, go on, mate. Go on, mate. See what I mean? If you'd have gone steady, you'd have been in front of me, but you can't drive, can you? 
They ought to outlaw people in Volvos. Nice cars though, Volvos, aren't they? Look at this here. Come on. Get going, man. But who are we going to put Josh in me now? So. I dare say that I'm going to be having a few visits from Mick and we're going to go through a few lists of featherweights for Josh for uh, September 20th I have a couple of people in mind myself but they're mainly English lads because I'm always of the opinion that if they're from England it's... it's uh, I've left some at them if they're from England, it's a, it's a good fight. That's that's the opinion I, I'm at. I'm of. If it's in England, it's a domestic fight. It's a good fight. So that's well. That's where I'm at with it. I'm going to get a new snooker cue tonight as well. All being well, uh, I want a Peridon. But I also wouldn't mind one of them David Bowen ones from Wadworth in Doncaster, but it's ten months for them to treat you, treat your queue. It's unmade, they're unmade, the fortune as well. But look at him here. Wagon. Uh, the ten month to treat the wood, innit? And I don't want to wait ten months for a queue. I might as well go get one and play with it now. There you go. Estimated time of arrival. Let's have a look. Oh, 15 minutes to spare. 14 minutes now. Huh? Right, uh, so that's good. So September 20th, Keenan Wainwright's out, Kane Salvin, Tyrone Nurse, Josh Whale, Tommy Frank. Uh, the usual suspects. Now, and there might be, I might get into trouble for saying this, but does it matter? I've already seen Dennis speak to people about it, so I can always deny it. There might even be a new sign in, so that's good, isn't it? That is good. A new sign and a good kid as well. So, I think Dennis has got a bit between his teeth, as Fuki says. So, shout out John Fuchs. It's all going good. Chris Smedley's not on board though, I like Chris. I like Chris, he's alright, good kid. But Clinton don't come round. I like Clinton as well. Uh, I don't know how people fall out, don't they? What a record Clinton's got though in world title level. Clinton Woods has beat more, more world champions than Tony Bellew. He's beat as many as Chris Eubank, senior. So what's that tell you? Why is he doing this for me with a motorbike? What are you doing, mate? Here we are, speed cameras up here. Always watch these speed cameras on M18, is it? Yeah. I think this is that. Frank, I think this is that camera here. The one I showed you, I thought had got me at 1.30. After that, not last show, the show before. I know it was, uh, it didn't get me. It must just be one of them average speed camera ones or surveillance ones. Please, isn't it good to be part of somewhere where somebody comes to office to get the office of the, the sort of paperwork out and what, when the next date is and coming in with smiles on the face. It's quite refreshing. It's like going to 
Glynn's gym, uh, where, or Mick Wales' gym, where you've got everybody in there and they're all training away and the fresh faced amateurs and they're all wanting to make the mark. There's something good about people being happy, isn't there? Positivity. Who knows, maybe I shouldn't hammer as many things in boxing, maybe instead of being critical, but some of the things I see I just don't like. You know what I mean? There's always a method behind people's madness, why they do things and why they say certain things and put statements out. People put statements out in boxing that are not true. They do it for effect. That's why they do it, they do it for effect. But, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, Dennis Thien, got a brand new car there, right? Oil light comes on. So what's he going to do? Because it fills it away, puts loads of oil in it. I don't even think he went oil light, I think he went tyre pressure sensor. Looks like something emptied the dustbin in it when I said his car over day. It's not fair on car, is it? A bit tyre pressure light now in Den. Oh, it's oil like that, poor kid. I'll put oil in it. Pours oil in it, it's all pouring out. <laughs> hey? Oh my god. And they call me dumb. Jesus. Unbelievable. But, uh... Oh. Better. Uh... Better. Uh... light coming in. So what's been happening with boxing now then? Let's see if we can get somebody on here. Let's have a little look. My pal, geezer, there we're kind of lager driving. I must be in the wrong job. I'm alright, I'm just in car on way to a uh, doctor's appointment. I thought I'd give you a ring with camera on. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, probably not now. I'm in the middle of work and stuff, but we oh, can yeah. do it uh, tomorrow. Alright then, I'll give you a bell tomorrow. How are you doing? Are you alright? Yeah, good. Everything good. Looking forward to coming over on uh, the 20th. 20th, yeah. For, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I spoke to Dennis just now. Well, we're going to sort that thing out while we're on about, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. that and, uh, yeah, we'll catch up then in person, all of us. Yeah, all right then, all right. Okay, mate. You take all care. Right. Speak to you soon. Take bye. care, bye. bye. The stuff that I have to do is unbelievable lately. <laughs> Tough at the top, innit? Shout out to Robert Britton. How are you doing, Robert? You'd love to come for a drink with me, wouldn't you, Robert? You'd love to be in Porky's gang. <laughs> Keep them comments coming. Carl, how are you doing? All right? Yeah, not bad, Carl. Did you pick that car up? Yeah, I picked it up, mate, yeah. All right, everything all right? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, mate. I've got to test a lot. Tires, tires right? gone on, yeah? Right, so that, he's happy yeah, now, I'm then, yeah? Yeah, I've got to it, mate. Right. So, just put that on account, then, and I'll sort that when I speak to him tomorrow, then, yeah? Yeah, well, I'm just giving him a, I'm just giving him a, a little wag, uh, can you say a couple of good sorts of it? Alright, that's okay oh, then, yeah. Whatever. Brilliant. Alright, alright. Alright, you take care, mate. Cheers. Alright, you a bit of a That's that sorted. Uh, I'm sure there's something else on my mind. I don't know. Here, I could end up getting to the doctors here now, and they could turn around and say, Oh, Porky, 
you've got Cancer, you've got Harry Dancer, and that's it. So, could be brown bread, couldn't I? Spewing blood up, and it coming out my nose as well. Can't tell anybody though, because they just say, Oh, you're back on sniff pork. Yeah, I'm back on sniff, alright. I can't sniff, alright. But, I want to talk about pensions for boxers. I know I've mentioned this before, and a lot of people might think, Oh, Porky, you're crazy going on about pensions for boxers. No, I'm not, I'm not crazy going on about pensions for boxers. I think it's important that kids leave the, leave the sport with some money. Uh, I think a lot of boxers though, they have to get it, don't they? They have to get boxing, they have to understand it. For example, it's important to get yourself out there. Look at David Allen. David Allen, right, goes to every show he can get, get tickets to go to. Amateur shows, he goes to everything. Stops hours doing selfies. And he's got a good profile, hasn't he now? So that if he gets beat against Price, it's still in mix, isn't it? But whereas if he beats Price and Joshua loses to Ruiz, why not Dave Allen against Andy Ru uh, against Anthony Joshua? I'd make Dave Allen a favourite in that fight, to be honest, if he beats Price and Joshua loses against Ruiz. I'd make Dave Allen a favourite. But why not? Why not? Why not Dave Allen getting uh, that kind of fight? I know Dave's not going to want to fight people like Yui or Gorman or Dubois. He will fight them, but he'll fight them once he's burnt his bridges with Eddie or once Eddie's got no use for him. Because he'll want to show loyalty to Eddie at the moment, won't he? Once Eddie's got no use for him, he'll get them fights. So he'll end up a millionaire, Dave Allen, trust me. He'll end up a millionaire. How he handles it, I don't know. I think his biggest problem will be uh, Kit Kats or Lion Bars or Chomps and uh, Bookies. But it is what it is, isn't it? So... It is what it is. But other than that, I'm alright. Okay. So... So peace out. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my ride here now. I'm on to a... A bit early, ten minutes early. Uh, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I'm going to add this onto the end of the chat I've just had with... Uh, Mick Whale and Josh. Alright, so, boom.